Hey, McDowan here. Today we are taking a look at the Cobra Hiss 3, part of what's known as the G.I. Joe Retro line. I just refer to it as the G.I. Joe 2020 four inch action figure line. <laughs> it seems right. It, this comes with a four inch figure, has artwork, and this is an update, a 2021 update to the 2000 release of the Cobra Hiss 3. So it's going to look a lot like the Hiss from the 2000 year 2000 on the dot it's got dirty tracks because they tried to make it a little bit dirtier kind of a bit more rugged they wanted to update it a little bit from the all black hiss of the 80s and i noticed they've got updated artwork here of this figure it was really interesting the uh, the vehicles from the year 2000 and 2001 in that area had a lot of computer generated artwork this is original art and i really do like this art i think the art the actual art, drawn art, however you want to go. This may be computer colored, but I think this stuff looks really good. We'll flip it around to the back. I won't bore you a lot more with the box. This is what the back of the box looks like. Has the logos, has the vehicle, has the figure, and has what you would call a file card that's not very file cardish anymore. It's just, it's got a very small paragraph in an assortment of five different languages. All right, let's get this thing open out of the box and I'll show you all the bits and the pieces um, and so forth. If you're new to the channel, welcome and please subscribe so you'll be notified of future videos. So everything you see here is what comes in the box. We get the main portion of the vehicle, we get the tread system, we get the back end turret and we get this little envelope of goodness. We'll pull stuff out of here. Has the figure, has the canopy, has the blueprints, has the figure stand, has legal stuff, and has decals. So I will show you exactly how to put this thing together. It's actually not very hard. So you have the turret, or you have the tracks, you've got the body. Essentially all you do is you hook this tab into that right there. And you should be able to just flatten it down like that. Oh, maybe, kind of, there, I heard a click. Most likely, once you get this thing put together, it's not going to separate apart, unless you can reach in there and pop those tabs somewhere. And then the turret, you have to look for these little tabs, look for these parts right there. We'll set that in right there. And rotate it around. And the turret is also in just like that. We'll rotate this over and the final step is this canopy that hooks right in here. Clunk. clunk. And that, that seems to be it. Although it's kind of curious, there's like this open spot up here. That's kind of weird. And it doesn't really click into place. I guess it kind of does. So this is a what I would classify a 20th anniversary action figure. This originally was made for 3 and 3 fourths inch action figures. These are 4 inch figures. Will this fit in there? Let's -a find out. Getting ready to compose him. Actually, I'm going to pull him off camera to compose him. There we go. So will he fit? Hmm. Doesn't look very promising. Let's uh, bend his knees up here a little bit. It's kind of... <laughs> so there, we, we can kind of get him in there. This doesn't hold very tight. But uh, yeah, you can kind of get him in there if it's like that. Now I'm curious... Um, Curie, uh, no, let's see, I'm trying to find a Fortnite action figure here, that would be appropriate, huh, well, he's not really appropriate, but he's right here, if we stand a G.I. Joe figure next to this Fortnite figure, you can get the idea that the Fortnite figure is a little bit bigger, so I already have, uh, bad thoughts that this is not gonna work, 
but he's kind of like the only figure I've got. Yeah, he's he's really pretty bulky sitting in there. He's really kind of bulky. I wish I would have thought about it. I don't have a Jonesy figure nearby. I've got this figure from Zika. 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 You have to tell me. Z whatever toys. It's the Riot Trooper. Cool. The Riot Trooper fits in there really pretty good. I'm not uh, being too rough and too hard on these figures. So, uh... I don't want to break any of them, but yeah. Cool. Get a few of these his tanks, a few of these riot troopers, and you got a riot army. Hardy har har. Anyway. So we've got the Larry Hama action figure from Fresh Monkey Fiction. Will he fit in the his tank? Yeah, you know, I keep doing that. I should just bring the arms up. So he has kind of. Eh, he kind of does. You're gonna have to work. You'd have to work these figures a little bit. Let's bend his legs a little. You're gonna have to sink the rear end of these figures in a little bit to get them to work. So this is kind of a eh, probably not the best fit. All right, let's see who's next. Ooh, ooh, I know. We'll try. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? That's just not happening. Let's grab a figure from Marauder. I don't know. He's got these little attachments that probably... Yeah, he he can't fit just because of those attachments. If you had a non-attached figure, that would be interesting. And I'll have to dig one up. But he might fit if he doesn't have attachments uh, on the side of his legs. Let's see. Here's a Halo Marine. This actually might be a pretty cool idea. There we go. Oh, probably really close. These are a little bit shorter. Bend his legs a little bit. <laughs> you could, there, he can just like relax sit in there. <laughs> I don't know. A relax sitting. <laughs> you could get one of these painted all green and put a marine in there. Maybe. Maybe not. Ooh, just for fun, here's a classic Cobra Battle Armor Cobra Commander who should fit in there very good quite well this was made for his line of action figures and that's why he fits so well ooh I know this is gonna be kinda weird but let's try a cowboy out in the hiss tank uh. eh, probably if you could get him down just a little bit more yeah you could get him you just got to push him down so pretty slender figures could fit in here pretty slender figures anyone else uh master chief uh no we don't even need to try that one let's see Ooh, just for fun we have a dc spin masters batman i'll just tell you right now he's not gonna fit he's too well get this cape out of the way yeah, he's just too tall. Well, <laughs> his ears, it, it might work. Uh, can you see that? His ears are sticking out this uh, slit. Maybe that's what they made the slot for. For figures with ears. All right, enough playtime that away. That's kind of fun. That was kind of neat. This is a little bit difficult to, to push down anyway. It's going to need to go up and down probably a few times. How do the wheels work? The wheels work really pretty good, I think. You can put a figure here. You can put a figure in the turret area that can man the guns. There are two pegs for additional figures. So in total, four figures can fit on this Hiss 3. It came, it came, it comes with this Cobra Trooper Rippet. That's not really what that is. It, rip it is rip it. It's not a Cobra Trooper. But let's take a look at the figure, shall we? His head rotates all the way around. He can look down and he can look up. He's got this vest on. Looks like a vest. I don't think it's removable, but his arms rotate all the way around. And no real hindrance except for that side, apparently. So he can do, <laughs> do something like that. 
his elbows rotate and bend. Same with the wrist. He's got no no torso movement. Oh, no, he does have torso movement. He has no waist movement. This is the old 20th anniversary style, not the newer retro design. He can do lots of poses with his legs. He's got double pin at the knee. You can see it right there. And finally, the ankles rotate. They do... Oh, they do have a hinge, but there's too much hindrance with his boot for that. Cool figure. I liked Rip it to be uh, from the beginning in 2000. We'll hook him on his stand here. Pose him next to his hiss. I won't be putting any decals on. Maybe I'll save that for some sort of like a G.I. Joe vehicle decal, decaling live, live stream. I don't know. And we get this lovely set of um, hmm, white paper with blue lettering that they call blueprints that show the three steps of how to assemble this and where the, de uh, the decals should go. Man, they have really come down with these blueprints. They used to be awesome. They used to be really cool. And now they just look like they're doing it because they have to, not because they want to. Oh, well. So anyway, that is the Cobra Hiss 3 high, high attack speed sentry. Something like that. <laughs> Does it say that on here? High, high attack. That's interesting. It doesn't say it anywhere on the box what the Hiss stands for. It. I know it's uh, not high attack. What am I saying? Um, it's a speed sentry. High speed. Oh, HI is probably high. High speed sentry, I believe. That's disappointing that they don't tell us what Hiss stands for. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Thank you for stopping by and watching. If you enjoyed this, please like the video and share it everywhere. It really helps the channel to grow. If you have any thoughts or comments, Leave the thoughts and comments in the comments section below. I will see you in the next video.